morning everybody how are you doing what's going on how's everybody doing today we made it to friday it's a very exciting day it's a little cool outside right now um but yeah we're gonna get this morning started um i'm right now i'm outside i'm i'm just walking in the house i step outside real quickly um that's usually how i check the temperature in the morning i just step outside <laughs> uh but yeah listen man it's friday you know it's a um easy going day as you guys know we don't really run uh, we don't run school home school on fridays um we give the, the kids that day off and um uh, you know that's a good thing it, it makes the schedule a little easier a little more manageable you know Daddy? sorry about that Daddy. but like i said man Daddy. we make the schedule Daddy. like oh my goodness let me finish talking dude we make the schedule uh, manageable that way, and uh, it's, it's very easy for uh, for everybody. Hi. Um, so, uh, Daddy, uh, Mama asked us to wear socks. Don't you have house shoes? And that was the house shoes for? No. The socks where we go places. Yeah, but that's what the house shoes is for, and it's not really that cold yet. Once you saw where you don't feel like it's not really all that cold in the house. Why didn't you want to wear the house shoes? But that's what it's for, it's for the house. Anyway. Say good morning, babe. Morning. Well, it's Friday. Friday is officially here. Come here, please. I want everybody to see what you just asked me for. It is 8.58 a.m. My son just ate breakfast and he is in my face asking for a what? Snack. A snack. My answer to you is heck no. Are you a lion? I'm a lion. Oh. Mm. There's no snack at 8:58 a.m. Somebody please tell my children that. Okay. Oh, here, here, here we go. Oh. Who's this? Buddy. Put that down. Buddy, buddy. Who is this? Buddy. What you want? Uh, I'm gonna want something else. You wanna watch something else? Yeah. Like what? Don't do that. It's for the camera. Don't do that. You gotta like turn the camera over. Like a two player. Like a two player? Yeah. Okay, there's, there's no two player anything on right now. No, downstairs. There's two player Mario. YouTube. No, you're not watching YouTube. You guys wanna be on punishment? Because I remember no, yesterday Daddy. I said you guys were on punishment today. You wanna you wanna be on punishment? No, Daddy said we can watch YouTube a little bit. Okay. So watch YouTube for a little bit. You got about an hour to watch YouTube no, on TV. No, you mean like a little bit as in if you don't argue. Yeah. All right. So I am now about to make the boys their lunch. And I'm going to make them my soup that I like to make for my weight loss. So here in the first bowl, we've got some broccoli florets. Broccoli florets. Yes, baby. We've got some snap peas. And we've got some organic green beans. This is all organic, all organic broccoli florets, organic snap peas, okay? And organic green beans cut in half, okay? So we've got that there in the first bowl for them. In my second bowl, I've got some organic yellow peppers. They're stripped, julienne style. Then I've got some organic yellow onions. I've also sliced them up in strips. Also inside here, we have organic green pepper, and we also have organic red pepper. Moving along to my third bowl here, I have organic broccoli slaw, which consists of the ends of the broccoli, the broccoli stalk, organic matchstick carrots, and we've also got chopped pieces of red cabbage in there. My other bowl back here, I've also got some uh, organic zucchini. This is cut in strips. And some organic squash cut in strips here. My last bowl, I have got 
some organic cabbage, and some organic red cabbage, okay? And all of these ingredients are gonna go into their soup. I'm going to grease the pan with a bit of coconut oil. Organic coconut oil. Okay, and just yeah, grease the pan. The oil is now melting. Heat is good. I'm just going to increase the heat a little. Okay, I'm gonna reach up here and get my seasoning out, which is ground white pepper. A little bit of Cajun seasoning. Some garlic powder. A bit of paprika. You see what else I've got up there? I mean, not much. I've been shopping in a while. And then I have salt in a salt shaker, which I need to replace. Hmm. So now that I have the fire up to a reasonable heat, the oil has uh, done its work in here. I'm gonna go ahead and add my green beans and my um, my broccoli, my cabbages, along with the snap peas. Cause these are usually um, the one vegetables that take a little longer to cook. I'm just gonna give it a little jazz with a little salt. I don't put too much salt. No one's taking that salt for me, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm having the same thing. I'm just doing theirs a little differently. Theirs is not gonna have any collard greens cause the collard greens are low, okay? So then I'm gonna sprinkle some garlic powder over it, okay? You hear that sizzling, right? I'm gonna give them a little bit of white powder, white, white excuse me, white powder, white uh, ground white pepper, and a little bit of Cajun. Excuse me, and then some paprika. Okay. Mama, my Mama, my diaper. Your diaper. My diaper. Go ahead and stir it around in the oil. Those vegetables nicely coated. Fish, this is wild salmon filet that they're gonna have inside their soup as well. Okay, it's defrosting, it's been sitting in uh, warm water. Right, and it's pretty much good now. It's not frozen anymore, so I'm just leave it out, let it get to room temperature, and then I will season it and fry it. So I've now added the rest of my vegetables, and I'm gonna go ahead and dance them around in there. I don't want everything to get too soggy. I want the vegetables to still have a uh, crunchy, but kind of cooked consistency, more of a steamed consistency, so. I'm gonna go ahead and just mix that around with all the flavor getting there together. Cause the flavor is really gonna be in the broth. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that sit there for a bit. Just a little bit. I'm gonna turn my fire down some. So about a two. And then I'm gonna go over here to my rice cooker and begin making my broth. Corn in there, just so they have extra vegetables to go with it, right? Some sweet kernel corn in there. So that's for their, um, their soup. I'm just turning it up a little bit so I can get some of the water out of there, the collard greens. Everything is still crunchy. I'm just thinking a piece of broccoli. Uh, yeah, broccoli's nice and tender. It's not good, but, 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 but. it's still good. The water is boiling, boiling. And so 
I'm going to give them some organic ramen, authentic Japanese wheat noodles to go with it. Okay? I'm going to add that into the water. And they're boiling. I'm going to put a bit of coconut oil in there so they don't stick. And then I'm going to get started on my fish. Noodles are boiling and my fish is now in the pan. I'm just going to sprinkle it real well with uh, some garlic. The ground white pepper. I'm gonna give it a little bit of paprika. And then a bit of Cajun seasoning. Okay? And I'm just gonna season one side because it's kids I'm beating. My noodles on boil. Legend, if you would get me the sauces, please. Wait, you said sauces? The sauces, sauces for the broth. Okay. Okay, so for my sauce, I'm gonna put a little bit of soy sauce in here. Okay. Some sweet chili sauce. You can use any kind. Let's put a bit of that in there. Okay. Some hoisin sauce. Hoisin. I am real generous with the hoisin. And then some teriyaki sauce. Okay. And I'm gonna stir. Add a little bit of garlic powder. I'm gonna give him some Cajun in here. Just a little bit. I need a break to my arm. Gonna taste it. And it tastes good. Okay, and then I'm just gonna let that cook for a little bit. I'm gonna get these noodles off in a second. And uh, let's flip over this fish. That fish, I want that fish to really brown really well. So, I'm just gonna drizzle some coconut oil across its back so that when I flip it, again, it'll have a nice brown to it. Okay, and there's the vegetables. So I'm gonna, oops, just in there. Test these out, I believe these should be good. These noodles don't need long to cook. Excuse me. And they're perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna plate their food right now. Since the noodles are done, the vegetables are done, and the salmon I will top last. Okay? Yo, what's going on everybody? Listen, I'm back home. Uh, it's been a very long week, but I'm super excited that the weekend is finally here. Cause I'm about to head out uh, this weekend to Grove Lodge. Um, as you can see, you know my hair grew out a little bit, so I gotta, I gotta get, I wanna get it shaved. But for some, for the first time ever, I'm gonna let my wife shave my hair. And uh, yeah, she went to get her nails done, so I'm waiting for her to get back, and she's gonna shave my head. Let's see how it goes. Donc, uh, je suis déjà revenu du boulot. Uh, C'était une très longue semaine, mais pour que ça finisse. Parce qu'on ira passer les prochains six jours dans une, un, un grand parc maritime. On va s'amuser là-bas un peu. Donc, je suis vraiment excité pour ça. Et puis, je dois aller me coiffer, mais je n'ai pas, pas envie de sortir de la maison. Donc, je vais laisser ma femme raser ma tête. D'accord On va le faire et puis on verra bien. D'accord Alors, on y va. Let's go, guys. Okay. 
You see my wife is shaving my head and this is the first time we've ever done this by the way. Like a lot of times I'll do it myself. I just stay in the bathroom in the mirror and just do it myself. Um, if I don't feel like going to the barber shop. The reason why over the last few weeks I've been getting it done by somebody else is because where I work at, there's a guy who lives there and he's a barber. So when I have a break or when I go to lunch, I go in his apartment and he'll cut my hair real quick. You know, it was only $10. But today, well, I thought it would be a good idea to have my wife do it, you know. We be make a, uh, we can make a great piece out of it. But also, when I was at work today, I didn't have any cash on me. And when I thought about going to the um, to QT, the gas station out here to get cash, the ATM charged $2.50. I said, no, I don't want to waste $2.50. Donc c'est comme ça, ma femme est en train de raser ma tête là. That's what I said. No, you said, I don't want to waste $2.50. Okay, it doesn't matter, baby. Okay. I'm telling half stories. Let's be us. I say I don't want to waste two dollars. What does that what's, 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 what's that do with me not being me? I say I don't want to waste two dollars. I have trusted one guy for using you know blades. And that's stop putting this on my shoulder. It's easy for the brush. You know, you know I wish you listen sometimes when I'm telling you how I want my things done. I'm not doing that. I'm doing that so I can get the more of the hair off. That's what I'm saying. It gets the hair off better. Oh, the brush gets the hair off better? Yes, that's what I was saying. Oh, so the brush, I, it'll get all the hair that's still left in your head as in the ones that it, I didn't cut? No. No, 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 no. It will get all the small, tiny, loose one off. So you see right, what you're I'm not trying cut. to get the loose ones. So what are you trying to get? You're trying, trying, you're trying to cut it with the paper? No. I'm oiling up your head so I can see. No, don't oil my head. What's left? No, that's a bad idea. It's not gonna cut right if you, if you put oil on my head, Megan. Babs, I cut hair in the military, did you know that? Disclosure, the um, clipper we used was not the one, you know, to shave clean necessarily. Um, but she did a pretty good job. This is, uh, you know, this is usually how I do it myself. You know, she did a pretty good job. And that's that. Anyway, y'all, listen, my eyes are red. I'm tired. We have a long day tomorrow before we head out on Sunday. I'm not going to keep I'm not, I'm gonna keep this real short. You know, thank you so much for following us. If you're new, hit that subscribe button right now. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Abonnez-vous, 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 abonnez-vous. Et puis, on se voit demain. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night, y'all. Peace.